Yeah, I, I hate to lose. You know, I hate to lose more than anything else. The only two, two things about football I hate. Injuries is one, and losing is the other. Chris Vigotis hasn't lost many games since becoming head football coach at Killian High in 1973. And at Killian, the school community expects their football team to win. This year, the Cougars have already lost four games. But Vigoda says because of the winning football tradition at Killian, that win or lose, there's always pressure. It's pressure on me when we're not, we're not 10 and 0. We've been 9 and 1 four times, or 9 and 1 better. There's pressure on me then. I want to be a state championship. You know, and we haven't got it yet. I'm not going to leave here until we do. In order to have a good program, you're going to, you're going to stress winning, winning tradition. Don't, don't anyone wants to be. Uh, Second. In other words, the reinforcement of the good football program would be to win. And uh, whether or not you take that in a negative aspect or positive aspect, uh, I think this bunch usually takes winning in a very positive way. So it is stemmed from uh, Coach Vigotas. Building a program is one thing, and maintaining it is harder. We played six ball games, okay? <laughs> I thought those six ball games, I thought people were getting, coming out there ready to kill us. You know, not just to play football. I just thought they were going to ready to murder us. You know, we, some teams get up for one or two folks. We got to be up for every team that we play because everybody either, you know, they want to beat Kelly in high school because we've had we've had a fine tradition. We have a fine record. And that's pressure, no matter what level of football you're talking about. Next, we'll look at what football does for the whole school community at Killian. Stu Jacobs, Channel Four Sports. Student body is an important part of the football team. In other words, if the student body is against you, uh, there's no reason to play. But when you, you can look and see uh, uh, and, and know that you have 8,000 plus people in the stands, you feel like you're playing for some, uh, you know, for a good cause, a good reason. Ideally, the football program at any high school should involve more than just the players and coaches. At Killian, it does. Every student and faculty member takes a keen interest in the football team, and that support has helped the Cougars to an outstanding record in recent years. But it accomplishes something far more important for the entire school community there. I think it's a nucleus of uh, the whole school. It was, it's always been a nucleus ever since when I, when I was out here. Uh, it seems like it holds together uh, the student body. It holds together the different types of people. You know, you want to go through high school. You, you, want, to, you want it to be a great experience for it, you know. And I think f uh, being on a being at a high school with a successful football team is going to give you a sense of unity and a sense of pride that even that some of the kids that are not out here going through all this, you know, it rubs off. Yeah, you know, the bookworm, so to speak. You know, I, I, you know, I wasn't smart enough to be a bookworm. Probably couldn't even read some of them words in a chemistry book or biology or anatomy or physiology or whatever. But I'm sure that uh, when he goes out with his friends somewhere and he mentioned he goes to Killian High School, I'm sure football is brought up. It's brought up at every, at every school that has great tradition. Tomorrow, one coach's view on what's wrong with Dade High School football. Stu Jacobs, Channel 4 Sports. The games are supposedly easy, but uh, games like that are uh, hard fought for us. We tend to uh, sometimes have a letdown on the uh, team that doesn't suppose to have a really good team, but that's not going to be the case as, uh, for the remainder of this season. What are you going to have to do? What's the defense going to have to do in order to play up to their uh, expectations? Well, we just going to have to play our game, go all out and hustle on every play and gain tackle and, you know, just go all out. We want to have a winning season so bad this year that in order for us to win, the defense is going to have to do their part. If, if that means shutting out the opposing team, then uh, that's what we're going to try to do.